what we typically see in the male pelvis is that the pelvis is mostly shifted into an anterior position. The sacrum is being compressed from the back. Yeah. And all of the spacing around the back of the pelvis here is closing off. And what you see on the screen here with both of these guys, although done slightly differently, um, we can see that the, uh, the pelvic angle um, is affecting how the back of the pelvis is being used. So in this case, both of them have anteriorly shifted pelvises relative to their feet. And more so on the, the second one on the right, more of a posteriorly tilted pelvis. So an anterior shift with a posterior tilt of the pelvis. And subsequently, everything that we looked at here in part one around the back of the sacrum, remember the superficial back line, we talked about hamstrings. We talked about the sacred tuberous ligaments coming up onto the sacrum. We then went in to talk about the obturator internus that sits just inside here. And also we began the conversation of working with the AD ductors as well. And how all of those combine together to close off the back of the pelvis. Now, bear in mind, whenever we bend forward from the hip and we go into a hip hinge, yeah, if I'm in my yoga class and I'm just doing some sort of forward fold, yeah, if I'm hinging from the hip, everything on the back of my pelvis has to be able to open. If the back of my pelvis doesn't open, then typically what we see is that the lumbers have to open and span more. This is not just a hamstring flexibility issue. Yeah. Because of that transference of force across the back, yeah, the hamstrings definitely have to lengthen. The sacred tuberous ligament has to be able to open up, but also the sacrum needs to be able to spread and lift at the back also. And one of the things we're going to look at uh, a little bit, maybe today, uh, if not tomorrow, will be the impact on the deep lateral rotators in the back of the hip here. And in particular, two muscles, uh, spoiler alert, piriformis yeah, and the quadratus femoris, which are going to be two big uh, stabilizers on the back of the hip there that will not allow for the medial rotation of the femur when we go into that anterior tilt. Just to drop a thought in there,